everyone, Chris back with a tip, a deadlift tip. If you want to get better at the deadlift, meaning you want to pull faster and lift more weight pretty quickly, maybe within the month, which might interest a few of you, uh, I think you should do more glute ham work. You might have one of these at your CrossFit gym or at your local gym space. You might use it a bunch for abs. That's pretty common in the CrossFit world. You might do back raises on it. But you got to keep in mind the glute ham raise that middle part is pretty important, the hamstring part. This is what's gonna allow us to pull more efficiently pretty quickly. So I wanna show you this lift because it's one of the quickest ways you can add weight to the pull. Every time I focused on it in my powerlifting days, say three or four weeks of doing nice, quick, powerful reps, my deadlift will jump 30 to 50 pounds. And I'm not being, that's not overstated. So, first few things. One, set the pad so your knee is just behind. When you first get used to this, it's not gonna feel great, but trust me, if you just practice for a month or so, it will. Uh, you want to drive your toes, you see, really hard in that plate, really secure your feet, and that will really help you activate your, your hamstrings, your calves, your butt. Uh, at the beginning, what you want to do, get out straight, hands by your side, and just get to where you can pull up with your hamstrings, squeeze the butt. The key here is the prison ass phenomenon. <laughs> Pinch a penny between your cheeks, really activate your glutes, really squeeze your hamstrings. If you keep your hands by your side, that will make the leverage a little better. If you need help, just have a friend. Gently push up on your chest, and then what you can do to get better at this quickly is just lower yourself down into control. So make the eccentric loading part really sort of accentuated, and then have a buddy pick you up. As you get better, you can pick your hands to your chest. Pause. Really fire your hamstrings to come up. As you get really good, put your hands behind your head. Pause. Squeeze and lower down yourself under control. To really get faster and better in a deadlift quickly, use a band. So what this will do is as you come up and stretch the band, it's going to put a lot of tension on your butt and hamstring, which is kind of what we're after. So put the band over your head, pull it apart so you don't choke off your juggler and pass out in the gym. Nobody wants to see you pass out and make a ham raise, especially not cute chicks. That's good. Stretch it out. Now ready? From this plank position, squeeze and come up as quick as you can. Hold it and then resist. Hold the bottom. Go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Down, 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 down. Boom, there you go. If you do that for four weeks or so, and give it a week to rest and recover, you're gonna pull more quickly. If you don't have one of these things, let me show you the alternative. Danny, come around. Poor man's glue ham raise. What I've got, just regular bench, a nice rubber surface, maybe three or four feet away from a rack. Down here I've got a band choked. So I'm gonna do a similar thing. It's a hamstring curl. So I'm going to put the band around my ankles, step back carefully. If you put too much tension on, you'll be able to tell because this thing will want to sweep your legs out underneath you. You can sit down, brace your hands, feel your belly, your booted belly full of air. And just pull your heels back, sort of parallel with the ground, nice and low. And as you pull back, squeeze your butt so you can feel yourself launch up off the bench a little bit. So what I'm going to do is pull back, and I'm going to squeeze, surprisingly tough, back. Squeeze, boom, just like so. How would you use this stuff? You can do a few of those glue hams before your workouts, just kind of warm up, get some extra work. Don't go too hard on that before you pull. Hit it after your major work. You can do it after your wad, maybe two to three sets at the beginning, five to 10 reps, move the weight up, move the reps up, or you can move the time you pause up. Play with the variables, just march it up for three weeks, take a break. March it up for three weeks. On this exercise, this would be really great to do before you deadlift. Down kind of prime your hamstrings, prime your butt, pull better immediately. And that's a great exercise to do on off days. You can do it after you train, you can do it on a day just having fun. Do two to three sets, maybe four sets, 10 to 20 reps. You'll get a massive pump in your hamstrings and you'll be pulling better really, really quickly. That's all I've got today, folks. If you like these tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Let's talk training ideas. Till next time, see you, man. Cheers.